Hello and welcome to a non-Apple edition of Apple A Day. Today I'm doing a review of Eleven Labs, which is an AI website that allows you to do the following. Convert text to speech in a variety of AI voices, convert a human voice to an AI voice, and you can also create a custom AI voice using your own voice as the source. Eleven Labs does a lot more than what I just said, but today we're only going to concentrate on these three features. So, how good is it? Well, today we're going to find out. If you're like me, I'm instantly turned off by a YouTube video if the voiceover sounds like AI. I won't even watch it. So let's see if Eleven Labs can sound real. Note that this is a completely unbiased review. I've not received anything from Eleven Labs in return. As you can see, I'm on their site, and I've already set up an account, so I'll just click on the Go To App button on the top. There are a lot of features on their site. For this review, I'm only interested in text-to-speech, voice changer, and adding a new voice. So let's start with text-to-speech. I'll click on that right now. I'm then presented with a page that lets me enter the text that I'd like to convert to speech. I'll just paste in some text that I already had prepared. And on the bottom, I can press Generate Speech. But before I do that, let's check out some of the voices. On the top right, I have a voice button. It's currently set to a voice called Brian. If I click on it, it opens up a panel revealing a list of available AI voices that I've already added to my library. There's actually way more than you can see in this list. Over on the left side, there's another Voices button. I'll click on that and then click on Library to reveal a list of every voice that Eleven Labs has to offer. As you can see, I can just keep scrolling to load more and more. So over on the top, I'm going to filter these by language and select English. There are just so many voices, and I believe most of these are generated by other users of the product. I'll play a few. Here's one named Ryan right at the top. With everything going on in the world, hearing a smooth voice like mine could make it a tiny bit better. I'll scroll down a bit. There's so many. Uh, I'll try this one. Austin, good old Texas boy. Now, if you're ever down this way, don't be shy. We Southern folk love having folks over. Okay, that one sounds pretty good. And here's another. Nikki. What's the craziest thing you've ever imagined? Multiply it by 10, and that is the reality. Not too bad. I'm going to go back to Austin and add that voice to our library. There it is. On the right, I'll click on Add. And I can also select Use from here to use it immediately, but instead I'll just go back to Text-to-Speech. I'll click on Voices again, and then click on the voice I just added. Now it's the current voice to generate. So the text is still there, and I'll just press Generate Speech. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple A Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. Hmm. So that particular voice sounded off in a few spots, and I can certainly tell that it's AI. Let's try another one. I'll go back to Voice. I'll pick this one, Booker Story Man. And once again, click on Generate Speech. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple A Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. Okay, that one sounds a lot better. Pretty good, actually. But I can still tell that it's AI. The natural human cadence is not there. And I suspect that this is how it would sound for all AI voices when using text-to-speech. But I certainly can't disparage the voice quality. It's really come a long way. Let's try another one. I'll go back to Voices, and I'll pick this one, Rochelle. I'll click on Generate. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple A Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. And again, it sounds great, but it still lacks the subtleties of the human rhythm of speech. Oh, by the way, you can download these audio files simply by clicking on the Download button right here. So at this point, I'm really impressed with the quality, but I can still tell it's AI, even though it's almost passable. So let's see if we can improve that. Next, let's try the voice changer. I'll click on that option right below text-to-speech. First, I'm going to change the voice back to Booker's Story Man. So now I can do one of two things. I can simply record myself live, or I can upload a pre-recorded audio file. I'll just record myself now using my laptop microphone. I'll click on Record Audio, 
I have to allow access to my mic. Then I have an option to choose which microphone I want to use. I'll keep it as my laptop mic. I'll say the same thing I used in the text-to-speech. I'll press start and record it. I just clicked on the stop button when I was finished. So if I play this back, you can hear that it's a little echoey from the room, and because I spoke at a distance, the audio is not the greatest. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. But let's see how well it converts it. I'll press Generate Speech. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. And now I am blown away. That sounds incredible. I'm going to try another voice. I'll choose the voice named Brian and click on Generate Speech again. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. Wow, I don't feel that it sounds like AI. It sounds so natural. And that's because we introduced the human element. Anyone can sound like an announcer. Note that you can view your history here as well, so you can then download anything you generated. You can click on it to play, or hover over it and click on the download button over on the right. So one thing I also want to try is converting my voice to a female voice. I'll go back to Voices and choose Rochelle, and click on Generate Speech. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. So that still sounds pretty good, but it's not as good as her original voice. If I go back to Voices and play her sample, there's a difference there. If you look on wealth as a thing to be valued, your imaginary poverty will cause you torment. I would imagine that the tone of my voice is too far apart from the tone of hers, which is causing the issue. But having said that, it's not bad at all. The issue really only becomes apparent if you try to compare the two voices side by side. Okay, so to summarize at this point, if I had to create a video and needed a voiceover, but I didn't like how my voice sounded, nor could I afford to spend money on a professional, I could still record my voice and then convert it using Eleven Labs. This is incredibly useful if you're on a budget or even if you're an agency and producing videos for customers. This can be used as a pretty decent placeholder until the actual voiceover is recorded. Okay, so the third thing I want to show you is the process to convert a human voice to an AI voice. And today I'll be converting my voice. So, next to voices, I'll click on this plus button to create a new voice. In the window that comes up, you have a few options. You can create a new voice from a text prompt, which is interesting. I haven't tried that yet. But today, I want to create a voice from my voice. Ideally, I would select Professional Voice Clone, but as you can see, I'm not in the Creator plan. I'm just in the Starter plan. So let's see how well this available option for Instant Voice Clone works. I have a sample audio file of my voice on my desktop. I'll just drag that into this window and click on Next. This doesn't actually take that long. When it's finished processing, it will prompt you to save the new voice. I'll name it Apple a Day Test. I have to choose a language, so I'll select English, of course. I'll just type in test under the description and check the disclaimer, which says that I own this voice and press save voice. Let's try it out. I'll select generate speech and that will take me to the text to speech page with my new voice selected. The text I used previously is still there, so I'll just select Generate Speech and see how it sounds. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to look into AI voices to see if they are really any good. So, it sounds close to my voice, but it's a bit off. I would imagine that the professional voice creator would sound a lot better since it requires more samples. It would be silly to use Voice Changer on my own voice to change it to my voice, <laughs> but having said that, let's try it out and see what it does. I'll select Voice Changer and drag in this clip. I'll select Generate Speech again. Hello and welcome to a motion episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm going to show you how to name your motion drop zones so the desired name appears in your template when it's used in Final Cut Pro. And the playback sounds pretty good. It certainly sounds better than the text-to-speech. 
Let's play the original. Hello and welcome to a motion episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm going to show you how to name your motion drop zones. They are pretty close, but of course the original recording sounds a bit better. Let me try this again with a different source voice other than my own. I have the same speech I generated earlier using a different voice. I'll convert that voice back to my voice and see how it sounds. I'll just trash the current source file and then drag in the new one. I'll select Generate Speech again to see how it sounds. Hello and welcome to a motion episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm going to show you how to name your motion drop zones so the desired name appears in your template when it's used in Final Cut Pro. So it sounds pretty good and you can tell that it's not as much like my voice as was the previous conversion. Here's the original audio that was just converted. Hello and welcome to a motion episode of Apple a Day. Today I'm going to show you how to name your motion drop zones so the desired name appears in your template when it's used in Final Cut Pro. So it's not perfect, but still pretty impressive. And as I said, the professional version would probably do a much better job of creating a decent voice. So in this very quick review, I would think that the most useful feature from Eleven Labs is the voice changer. With this, you can record any dialogue quickly and then convert it to nearly any voice and still maintain a human quality so it doesn't sound like AI. Now, there are way more features that Eleven Labs offers. I think I'm just touching on the basics. So if you're interested in seeing more features that Eleven Labs has to offer, just message me in the comments below. Well, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. I'm John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.